हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विवरिंग द इंडियन नॉमेंट क्लेचर और इंडियन टर्मिनोलॉजी and if you not to my channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below do follow me on facebook google plus twitter instagram etc all the links are in the description below if you find this video helpful please share this video on social media among your friends and please press the like button for any doubt suggestion or feedback please mention in the comment section now indian nomenclature it covers the basically the following points are there for uh, indian the first one is the bore now bore is the diameter that is this is the top view of the cylinder so this diameter it is said to be bore it is denoted by capital d and we know that the cylinder is like this of the top view and from front front view it will look like rectangle so hence the pictorial representation is like this and inside the cylinder there is a piston which converts the linear motion into which converts the fuel energy into linear motion and uh, the connecting rod it transfers the motion from the piston to the crankshaft now first was the bore this is the first nomenclature of bore and this is the inlet suction valve through which the fuel or air enters this is the inlet suction valve and this is the exhaust valve through which the exhaust gases they leave the cylinder head that is the topmost point the topmost region of the cylinder body it is said to be cylinder head and uh, now one is clearance volume and one is stroke volume now the stroke volume the volume from bottom dead center to the top dead center the volume throughout this region it is said to be the stroke volume denoted by v subscript s v s now what is bottom dead center and what is top dead center tdc and bdc so top dead center is the position of the maximum compression that is at this point the piston cannot move above this point so it is the top dead center at this point the velocity of the piston is zero and after this point the piston reaches from this to this position and after that the velocity becomes zero and then again the piston moves from this position to downwards so this is the top dead center similarly the piston cannot go beyond this point this region so it is the bottom dead center that is the piston can come up to this point it will retard the velocity will become zero again the piston will accelerate upwards so this is the bottom dead center and top dead center and the volume between these two points top dead center and bottom dead center it is said to be the stroke volume a stroke because one stroke is denoted by l capital l this is the stroke length capital l and uh, volume is vs now we know that the stroke volume is pi by 4 d square now this is the area of this circular region into this length l so this will give it the value of stroke volume or in other words we can say that the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h or pi by 4 d square h so pi by 4 here d is d is the bore so d square and height is the l that is stroke length so again anyway we get the stroke volume value pi by 4 d square l i hope it is clear up till now now next comes the clearance volume now clearance volume clearance volume is the region from the top dead center up to the cylinder head that is the topmost region of the cylinder from the position of top dead center up to the cylinder head this position this dimension that is the volume occupied in this region this is the clearance volume 
now clearance volume uh, it will be given by pi by 4 d square into this region this length and this is the clearance length or clearance depth whatever you can say suppose y is equal to dc this is the stroke sorry this is the clearance volume and the cylinder volume it comprises of the clearance volume plus the stroke volume so the cylinder volume that is capital V it is equal to Vc plus Vs and one point is there that is known as compression ratio it is the ratio of the total volume before compression total volume before compression volume before compression upon total volume after compression now total volume before compression was that is the piston was here at BDC before compression I hope you already know that compression starts when the piston is at BDC position bottom dead center so total volume before compression will be this cylinder volume that is Vs plus Vc we can write the compression ratio as Vs plus Vc upon total volume after compression now after compression the piston can reach up to this point only that is up to TDC so now the volume left in the cylinder will be now clearance volume only that is the total volume after compression the piston has started from here it will reach this point so now only this volume will remain this volume is denoted by VC clearance volume so we will write VC now we can simplify it so R will be that is compression ratio is Vs upon Vc plus 1 this is the formula for the compression ratio I hope it is clear alright now moving on further now these topics are already covered then we move to connecting rod now connecting rod is a, mecha a mechanical member that connects the piston this piston at this point at the center of the piston to the crankshaft this is the crankshaft this is the crankshaft so it will connect the piston at the cent from the center to the circumference of the crankshaft and at this point it is the gudgeon pin it is the pin that is used is gudgeon pin gud gen pin and at this point it is the crank pin that is the pin used to connect connecting rod with the piston is known as gen pin and the pin that is used to connect the connecting rod with the crankshaft it is known as crank pin here it is the crank pin all right and this whole region this whole box it is known as the crank case and here the fluid or the lubricant it is filled that you know that is called as engine oil in this whole region it is submerged in the fluid or lubricant or cooling or engine oil in general it is known as engine oil and we need to periodically change the engine oil that you also know that during servicing the engine oil is replaced because the engine oil gets burnt it carries away some particles dust particles etc so engine oil needs to be replaced so the this whole region it is dipped in the engine oil so when the piston moves from this position up to the bottom dead center this some amount of engine oil it is carried away with this piston so it will lubricate the lining that is at this region the oil automatically the engine oil automatically reaches and it reduces the friction, heat, wear of the mechanical parts. 
so this engine oil this serves the many purposes such as cooling lubrication reducing the wear and tear and preventing the uh, preventing the some noise and these are the major function of this engine oil or lubricating oil so now in summary let me summarize this basic terminology of the engine is first is bore inlet or suction valve exhaust valve cylinder head clearance volume stroke volume cylinder volume or total volume top dead center bottom dead center stroke length connecting rod crank pin crank shaft and crank case so i have i hope you have found this video helpful and if you found the video helpful please subscribe my channel please share this video on your friends on social media and uh, please press the like button if you have any doubt suggestion or feedback please mention in the comment section you can watch other videos appearing on your screen right now and till next time take care